Huawei, the Chinese telecom giant, has recently surprised the world with its new smartphone, the Mate 60 Pro, which features a powerful processor that uses 7 nanometer technology. This is a remarkable achievement for a company that has been under severe US sanctions since 2019, which aimed to cut off its access to advanced chips and chip making equipment from foreign suppliers. How did Huawei manage to overcome these challenges and what are the implications for the global semiconductor industry and the Western world? And before we dive into today's video, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with all the exciting content I have in store for you. Don't miss out on the latest updates, tips, and entertainment. Just click that subscribe button and let's embark on this amazing journey together. Thank you for your support. The Mate 60 Pro is powered by Huawei's proprietary Kirin 9000's microchip, which was reportedly manufactured by China's top contract chipmaker, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation SMIC. According to Tech Insights, a Canadian firm that analyses semiconductor products, this is the most advanced chip that SMIC has ever produced, surpassing its previous 14 nanometers technology. Smaller nanometer technology results in faster processing and lower power consumption, which are crucial for high-performance devices such as smartphones and computers. The Kirin 9000's chip is also compatible with 5G networks, which is another milestone for Huawei, as it had lost access to 5G chips from its previous supplier, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC, due to the US restrictions. Huawei had stockpiled some 5G chips before the ban took effect, but they were quickly depleted as the company sold its existing models. The Mate 60 Pro is the first new Huawei phone in years to support 5G, which is expected to be the next generation of mobile communication technology. The launch of the Mate 60 Pro has been met with enthusiasm and pride in China, where it quickly sold out online and received positive reviews from users and state media. The Global Times, a state-backed tabloid, hailed it as evidence that the US had failed to curb China's microchip development and that Huawei had risen from the ashes. The phone also attracted attention from international media and analysts, who wondered how Huawei had managed to achieve such a breakthrough despite the sanctions. One possible explanation is that Huawei had secretly developed its own chip design tools to replace those from US-led companies such as Cadence Design Systems and Synopsys which it could no longer use due to the ban. In March 2023, Huawei announced that it had made significant progress in replacing these tools with its own software, which it claimed was more efficient and innovative. However, some experts have expressed doubts about Huawei's claims, arguing that developing such tools would take years and require a large team of experts. Another possibility is that SMIC had somehow obtained access to advanced chip-making equipment from foreign sources, such as Dutch company ASML, which produces extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machines that are essential for producing 7 nanometers chips. However, this seems unlikely, as ASML has been under pressure from the US government not to sell its machines to China and SMIC has not publicly announced that it has acquired any EUV machines. Moreover, some analysts have suggested that the Kirin 9000's chip may not be a true 7 nanometers chip, but rather a modified version of a larger chip that uses some tricks to achieve similar performance. Regardless of how Huawei and SMIC achieved their breakthrough, it is clear that they have demonstrated their resilience and innovation in the face of adversity. The Mate 60 Pro may not be enough to restore Huawei's former glory as the world's largest smartphone maker, as it still faces challenges such as limited supply, high price, and lack of access to Google services. However, it may signal a new phase in the global chip wars, where China is gaining ground in developing its own semiconductor industry and reducing its dependence on foreign technology. This could have significant implications for the Western world, especially for the US, which has been trying to maintain its technological edge over China by restricting its access to advanced chips and chip-making technology. The US has argued that these measures are necessary to protect its national security interests and prevent China from using these chips for military purposes. However, 
some experts have warned that these measures could backfire by pushing China to invest more in its own chip industry and by alienating its allies who rely on trade with China. The Mate 60 Pro may not be a game-changer for Huawei or for China's chip industry, but it is certainly a wake-up call for the Western world. It shows that China is not giving up on its ambitions to become a global leader in technology and innovation, and that it is willing and able to overcome any obstacles in its way. The Western world should not underestimate China's capabilities or intentions, but rather engage with it in a constructive and cooperative way to ensure a fair and stable global market for semiconductors and other technologies. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to show your support by subscribing, sharing, leaving a comment, and giving it a thumbs up. Your engagement means a lot to me, and it helps the channel grow. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and I'll see you in the next video.